Inside the classroom, we did find a 22 caliber semi-automatic handgun. We found a 9 millimeter semi-automatic handgun, and there was a knife. Um, I don't have a very good. I have no description of the knife, knife other than it was a knife found there as well. Also in the room was a uh, a, a satchel of some sort that. Um, the suspect had brought into the room and inside that satchel was uh, additional bullets uh, that uh, was of the same caliber of the two handguns that were recovered from inside the room. In addition, we recovered shell casings uh, that were of the same caliber of both of the handguns that I had previously mentioned. Uh, the suspect was uh, immediately uh, treated uh, in the room. He was then transported to Bay Area Medical Center here in Marinette to that emergency department. And I've since learned that he was transported to St. Vincent's Hospital in Green Bay. And uh, he's characterized as in grave condition. The motivations uh, are unclear. We, at this point, are uh, attempting to gather information from his classmates, friends. Uh, we did interview his parents last night, and this is uh, uncharacteristic for this young man from what we've been told, and we are still uh, looking into uh, what may have been the trigger. Uh, from what I'm able to determine, um, that the, the students uh, remained calm. Uh, they tried to keep a... Uh, a dialogue going with the hostage taker. Um, the students uh, behaved uh, remarkably well under extremely uh, stressful conditions.